Okay, so Larry Summers of Harvard, what are you looking at this week? We've got a lot to take a look at. We're in the, the aftermath of the World Cup finals over in Qatar. We also have Congress having to get out of town and do some work before they do it. And then, of course, we're looking forward to next year. Argentina's victory should have the biggest political consequence of any sports event since the Mets winning the World Series in 1969 re-elected uh, Mayor Lindsay. David, there are some events where they'll only matter if they screw up, kind of like an anesthesiologist in an operating room. And one of those events is Congress's handling of the debt limit. Nobody's going to remember if this event if we continue to be able to issue debt freely. But if the United States gets close to default, that's something that could cascade for years uh, to our country's uh, real detriment and to the detriment of the dollar as the central currency uh, in the world uh, monetary system. At the end of the year, people always look forward and they come into the new year with some kind of psychology, and we're just going to have to see uh, how that plays uh, out. There's a lot to worry about in uh, 2023, Russia, Ukraine, uh, China, inflation and possible recession in the United States. But there's also a lot uh, to be hopeful about. Inflation has come down. The economy is stronger than people expected. It'd be hard for things in Russia, Ukraine uh, to get much worse. So I think, once again, we're at the brink of a year that's going to be very much a hinge year in history.